NetEngine series routers support the configuration of night address pools in easy IP mode and the communication between internet devices, such as hosts and servers in a hairpin scenario. First, let's look at how to create an address pool in easy IP mode. Users on enterprise networks cannot apply for sufficient public IP addresses. The night function is used for user access since merely a few public IP addresses are available. To make full use of limited public IP addresses, NetEngine series routers reuse interface addresses as night address pool addresses, which is called night easy IP. What is the hairpin scenario? The hairpin scenario, which is also called night loopback, means that two private network devices, such as hosts and servers, connected to the same night device communicate with each other using public IP addresses that are mapped to their private IP addresses. The hairpin scenario does not involve mutual access using private IP addresses. The hairpin scenario is irrelevant to traffic exchange between private network devices is not processed by night. In the following example, a NetEngine 40E is used as an example to describe the networking. Computers and servers on a company's internal network need to be connected to the Internet using the night function provided by the NetEngine 40E functioning as a night device. Interface 1 of the night device is connected to the Internet, and Interface 2 is connected to the Internet. Two public IP addresses, 11.1.1.2 and 11.1.1.3, are configured on the night device. The following requirements must be met. 1. The internal computer's private IP address, 10.1.1.4, is translated by night to an IP address in a public address pool before the computer accesses the Internet. 2. The night device is configured to assign a public IP address to the internal server in easy IP mode. 3. The computer with the private IP address 10.1.1.4 sends an access request to the public IP address of the internal server, whose private IP address is 10.1.1.254. 4. External Internet computers can access the internal server. Before configuring the night device, let's look at the configuration roadmap. Step 1. Configure basic night functions. The configuration involves the following substeps. Configure session table resources on a service board. Create a night instance and bind it to a night service board. Configure a night address pool. Step 2. Configure an internal server in easy IP mode. Step 3. Configure a night traffic diversion policy. Step 4. Configure a night conversion policy. Now let's look at how to configure the device. Step 1. Configure night session table resources. The night session table resources are controlled by the license. By default, a device does not allocate night session table resources. You can adjust the number of night session tables that can be created as needed. In this example, a VSUF160 service board is used. Set the number of session table resources of the night service board to 16M in the license view. The night service board is installed in slot 7. Step 2. Create a VSMHA backup group and enter the backup group view. Bind the VSMHA backup group to the CPU of the night service board. Step 3. Create a VSMHA service instance group and bind it to the VSMHA backup group. Create a night instance named Night2. After the VSMHA service instance group is configured in the night instance, the service boards in the VSMHA service instance group are automatically bound to the night instance. Next, configure a night public address pool. The address pool is two public IP addresses, 11.1.1.2 and 11.1.1.3. The public IP addresses in the address pool are assigned to the Internet computer after night conversion is performed. Here the basic night function configuration is complete. Next, let's move on to see how to configure the internal server. Step 1. Assign 11.1.1.1 to the outbound interface named GE8-0-1, connected to the external network. Configure the internal server using TCP port 80 in easy IP mode. The internal server is assigned a private IP address, 10.1.1.254. After night conversion is performed, the internal server is assigned the public IP address 11.1.1.1, which belongs to GE8-0-1. Step 2. Configure a traffic diversion policy on the outbound interface. 
The night device matches the user packets against the traffic diversion policy and diverts the matching packets to the night service board for processing. First, create ACL 3001 and enter the ACL view. Create a rule named Rule 1 to allow Knight to process the computer's private IP address, 10.1.1.4. Create another rule named Rule 2 to allow Knight to process the internal server's private IP address, 10.1.1.254. Second, bind the Knight instance and ACL to the outbound interface on the public network side to allow the internal and internal servers to access the Internet. Third, bind the night instance and ACL to GE 8-0-0 on the private network side to allow internal computers and servers to communicate with one another after night conversion is performed. Step 3. Configure a night conversion policy. Run the night outbound command in the night instance view to divert traffic matching ACL 3001 to the night service board.